let's have a look at writing up a conclusion for our bivariate assessment. So we need to do three things in our conclusion. We need to first of all answer that original question. So the question was asking us about a relationship. Is there a relationship between two variables? So I need to know what the answer to that is. I've got to describe that decision in context, okay? And I've got to be quite specific about who these results can be applying to. And then I need to look for other improvements or other investigations that I could do. Alright, so when I need to answer that question, first of all I'll just decide is there a relationship, yes or no. Okay, in terms of the participants, that the data that I've got, the results that I've got, only apply to the specific group of people that I collected data about. I can suggest or make an inference that maybe those results apply, would apply to other people like them, but I've got to be very clear that these results only apply to the particular people I've um, taken data from. All right. So if the data, for example, if the data is from students at the local primary school, then the results only apply to those primary school students. So let's have a look. In this example here, we've got a sample of Year 11 students at OSC, and we've got some measurements. We've got their right foot length versus their right hand span, and we've got a data set there. So we've, in previous videos we've looked about how we can find our line of best fit through the middle. We can tell that there's definitely a, a pattern going on there. We can note that as somebody's right foot length is increasing, their hand span is also increasing. So in terms of our conclusion, that's the first thing we want to say, is that um, we can see that there is a relationship. All right, There is a relationship between their foot length and hand span for the Year 11 participants from OSC. So I've been quite specific that it's the participants from um, where the, from OSC that are the results apply to. In terms of improvements, one thing I'm suggesting is let's get people to move, remove not just their shoe, but also their sock. So some students I noticed had quite thick socks, while others had very, very thin like pantyhose. So it could be that there is going to, that's going to make a difference to my, how precise and accurate my measurement is. So that would be one thing I can improve if I did this investigation again. Other things that I could investigate, well the results of this particular one only apply to year 11 students at OSC. So it didn't apply to younger students because they could have a different ratio. Um, so that would be another interesting investigation that I could do, was maybe using some primary school students and seeing, do I get the same kind of positive increasing um, relationship that I see amongst um, these year 11 students.